Tonight on Thrill of a Lifetime, Robin's dream wedding turned into a nightmare. I think it's probably the biggest disappointment she's ever had. <laughs> but now, her best friend wants to give her the chance to be a bride all over again. This is 29-year-old Robin Rice on her wedding day, just two years ago. It was supposed to be the best day of her life. It turned out to be the worst. A girl waits for her wedding day all her life, and you just want it to be perfect. You just want everything to go exactly as planned. And when it doesn't, then it's just awful. So what could have gone so wrong? Well, Robin suffers from unbearable migraines, and one paralyzing episode ruined her wedding day. This is her bridesmaid, Rachel. She wants nothing more than to give Robin the day she had envisioned. I'd really love to give her some of what she missed on her wedding day, even if it's just that first dance. I was just trying to keep myself really as stress-free as possible. I would pretend to myself that it wasn't actually my wedding day because even happy stress causes a headache for me. I guess I met Robin when I was seven and she was six, and as long as I can remember, she's had these headaches. I remember being out playing in the yard and her going inside to her mom and, you know, she, she had to lay down. I get migraines, my mother gets migraines, my grandfather got migraines. I think Robin is probably the worst because um, medication that I took, medication that my mom took, nothing would work for her. There was one migraine that Robin had that lasted, I think it was at least six months, eight months. Eight months? Can you imagine? She has really tried pushing herself. She got through school as many days as she's missed. I don't know how she ever did, but she did well in school. It's a disability, and it really means that you, there's a lot of things that you can't do. But she got through that ceremony, which was a miracle. I was very relieved that the ceremony was over, but at the same time, I knew that there was still a lot ahead. Everyone knew this day would be a challenge, but they all had one wish. Just let her get through this one day so that she has this one day to remember as being perfect and that she wasn't sick. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. You could just tell. You could just see it in her eyes that, you know, she just was trying to, to prevent it from happening. But you could see, you know, how hard she was fighting. Dave knew that I wasn't feeling well. I, I told him that I had to go use the washroom. And I had to ask my mom to help hold up my dress and hold my veil back because I was going to be sick. I thought, well, maybe if I try and sleep a little bit, I'll feel better. So I went in the car and I tried to put my head down. There was no other place for me to lay down, plus I wanted to get some fresh air. It hurt to talk, it hurt to open my eyes, it hurt to move. I thought, what is going on here? This this headache can't take over. This It can't take away from me the most important day of my life. It just can't. For the rest of the reception, she was gone. Um, she was in the back seat. Robin was in the back seat of the car. and um, I was running back and forth between the car and kind of keeping everyone updated as well as try to pay attention to the guests and make sure that she was OK. And I think it's probably the biggest disappointment she's ever had. I felt so bad for him, too, because it was not just my day, it was also his day. We were supposed to be dancing together and doing everything together. It just seems that Robin and Dave sort of got off on, on a bumpy start. The first year of their marriage wasn't the greatest. I guess it takes a while to adjust to each other, you know, when you haven't, you have to you move in together for the first time and all that. And it's so wonderful now that they've worked through it all and they love each other even more than they did 
a year ago or a year and a half ago. And that's what's even more wonderful about this whole thing. I just, I want this for her more than anything. Well, Rachel's going to whisk Robin off her feet with a chance to be a bride all over again. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Robin, thrill of a lifetime is going to give you your first dance with Dave, and it's going to happen today. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's going to be a whole lot more than just a spin around the dance floor, and Robin has no clue. Coming up. Surprise! Robin gets her second chance. You have no idea what's in store for you. <laughs> A severe migraine crushed Robin's wedding day dreams. But now we're giving her a second chance, and we just all hope it works out. We're just going to have your dance, and we're going to have fun. Where? And... Can't tell you. Just come. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to have a great time, and that something very exciting was about to happen, and I wanted to make it. I wanted to make it through the day. Making it through the day will be a challenge. It doesn't take much to trigger a migraine. Any strong emotion, even happiness, could threaten to end this day. Whoa, where are we going? The Waterloo Inn? Robin is on her way to the biggest surprise of her life at the Waterloo Inn. The Thrill Special Events team, headed up by Karen Cece Lemieux, is preparing a lavish wedding. I couldn't believe what was happening. I didn't know what was happening. I had a ton of questions going through my head. What am I going to wear? Who's going to be there? Oh, Robin! <laughs> I can Hi. finally talk to you! <laughs> Surprise! <Hi>. Oh, boy. <laughs> you have no idea what's in store for you. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> wow! She was leading us somewhere. I had no idea which room she was going into. I was dying to know what was at the other end. I was very curious <laughs> and excited, but at the same time trying to contain myself. Hi, Robin. Hi. I'm Karen. This is Howard. Howard is Hi, from Howard. Johnny Capello and Associates. He's Hi. going to be doing your hair today. Ooh. <laughs> and this is Anna. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Anna's you going to be doing your makeup. Okay. Hi. Natalie's Hi. here Hi. for Mache. Hello. And she has a big surprise for you today. A rack of <laughs> elegant wedding gowns to choose from, just for you. Wow. They were just gorgeous. And I had to touch them to feel the, the awesome. fabrics to... I couldn't believe that they were there for me to try on. Wow, they're gorgeous. While Robin is upstairs getting the royal treatment, a talented team is secretly at work in the ballroom. Every bride needs flowers. We got some beautiful blown up roses, some nice tropical greens. We use some Italian ruscus to give it a nice accent with the greens and rose petals around just to give it, to pull everything together. They'll be having dinner, uh, we did some uh, bruschetta with uh, feta cheese and sprinkled parmesan. Blackened chicken with a mango salsa. Chicken sauté. Uh, some fruit flan for dessert as well as some chocolate eclairs. Goat cheese and grilled asparagus wraps. Okay. Delicious. A beautiful cake. It's filled with strawberry and chocolate buttercream. All the flowers are done in icing. Each and every petal is individually mm. hand sculpted. And uh, it was my pleasure to, you know, make somebody's uh, dream come true. And when the decorator's through, this place will look fabulous. I'm doing an arch, napkins, head table, candelabras, chair covers, backdrop, tablecloths. Here it is, another chance to recreate the most beautiful day of your life that you'll always remember. She can just enjoy and have that opportunity to forget about the past, forget about that headache, and enjoy today for not having to do a thing. Everything's wonderful. We're uh, just putting on the final touches and uh, Everything's going. <laughs> Meanwhile, check out the boys. I, I, I still don't wake up. <laughs> I think it's almost as exciting for me as it is for her. Um, she's really excited. It's okay, buddy. We're here for you. We're here for you. The thrill that she's relived her day as a father, that's, that's, that's all you could hope for your daughter. Upstairs, Robin is feeling great and enjoying her wedding day all over again. But let's just say, there's a bit of tension in the air. So far, so good, and it's great. She's, she's feeling good. All she's feeling is just a bit, like, 
excited is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so. We were all been thinking about the whole time is just, oh, I hope it's, you know, what's to say she's not going to have another migraine and it'll be, you know, but I think everything seems to be going really well so far and I think we'll just keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> we're all crossing our fingers too. Oh, it's I just it. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very I like that. I couldn't wait to actually have it on with my hair and makeup done and have the whole package and to walk out and show Dave what I looked like. I want it to work so badly. <laughs> I think everyone does. So, yeah, keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> I could see it in their faces that they didn't want me to get a headache and they were worried and they just wanted me to enjoy my day. and. They were afraid to ask me how I was feeling. I knew that they were, and I was afraid. I was afraid that I was going to get a headache. Coming up, Robin is surprised with a fairy tale wedding. Oh my God. Robin thinks she's getting ready to have a simple dance, but she's about to get the wedding day of her dreams. Wow. <laughs> I look really good. <laughs> what do you think Dave's going to think? I think Dave's going to like it a lot. We think so too. I was just telling myself to keep calm and don't get too excited and you'll be fine if you just stay calm. Here comes the bride. I felt so beautiful the way I was dressed up with the tiara in my hair and the dress and the makeup and my hair all done up and I felt like a princess. And here's her prince. I couldn't wait to see Dave's face when I walked out and he saw me with, in that white dress with my hair and makeup all done up. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. You guys look very When Dave said wow, I just I felt like a million dollars. It's kiss proof almost. almost. <laughs> oh, you even have corsages and everything. Yep. Robin, Thrill of a Lifetime is going to give you your first dance with Dave, but there's something that we'd like to do first. Robin, will you marry me? <laughs> Again? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think I've seen her this happy in a long time. All her friends here and her family here and just have it all done for her. It's so nice. And she's I can see she's really, really enjoying it. She's genuinely surprised and it's a real thrill. Robin thinks she's heading to the ballroom just to enjoy their first dance. But she's going to be blown away by what awaits her. This was the second one. Uh -huh. so the next person who comes to the store, will be. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was a shock. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had more of a surprise in my lifetime ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wedding party, eh? <laughs> we really are getting married again. <laughs> it was like a fairy tale. It was beautiful. We were walking up the aisle, which was covered in rose petals, and I couldn't believe how beautiful that was. 
I've never seen anything so beautiful and it was decorated so nicely and there was the priest standing up there holding the book and ready to marry us again. I was, I was just shocked. David and Robin, you have come together in this place so that the Lord may once more seal and strengthen your love. David and Robin, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves once more to each other in marriage? I didn't have time to even think about getting nervous. One minute I was standing behind the door and then the next minute I was standing at the altar. I was in shock. <laughs> and I invite you to face each other and to repeat after me. I, David, take you, Robin, to be my wife. I, David, take you, Robin, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And Robin, I, Robin, take you, David, to be my husband. I, Robin, take you, David, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love and you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. It kind of felt like a, a really great dream. I couldn't believe that it was happening. I, I couldn't believe it at all. What God has joined, let no one divide. I think you should give each other a kiss. <laughs> The hall was just amazing. It was breathtaking. The decorations were just done so beautifully. I just wanted to make it to my first dance with Dave so badly. I just wanted to be holding Dave and listening to the music <laughs> and having everyone watch us. But I could start to feel a headache coming on and I started to get really worried. I knew it was so close, and I didn't want to miss out on that chance again. Hang in there, Robin. Up in my room, up in the room, uh, in my purse, mm -hmm. I have some Motrin. Okay. Coming up, will Robin's migraine spoil this enchanted evening once more? <laughs> Robin is experiencing the magical wedding day she's always wanted. But is all this excitement starting to take its toll? It felt just there was pressure around my head and I could feel the headache coming on and I needed to take something okay. to calm it down. It I have a flower or a purse with flowers and butterflies on it okay. and it's inside like of it, yeah, there's a bottle of Motrin. Okay. I just need one of those okay. and there's a bottle of water even inside. I just need okay. that too. Okay. I was giving myself the pep talk again and thinking that I had the ceremony over with and I want to get to my first dance. I'm going to make it to this dance. I was going to be really mad at myself if I let a headache ruin that day. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Robin and Dave, I'd like to welcome everyone here tonight. There is something wonderful about second chances. Wedding days are extremely special days, and it is unfortunate when things happen to lessen the joy of those days. I was thinking, the moment is here, I can do this. But with all the eyes on me, I was getting a little nervous. Robin, you don't know how happy it makes me feel to be able to give you this thrill, upon thrill upon thrill, as you've seen today. Um, and I'd like Robin and Dave to have their first dance now, if you'd take the floor. The moment we've all been waiting for. That's what the thrill was about, is having the first dance, and I wasn't going to let a stupid headache stop it. That moment was just magical. It was like a fairy tale. To be up there on the dance floor, it was just something that 
that nobody can understand how much it meant to me. It felt complete. We're a very close family, and it meant a lot that everybody was there. And I could feel their joy and their love, and I could see it in their faces that they were so happy for us. I couldn't believe that it was happening, no, I couldn't believe it. And for once in my life, I enjoyed something that I wanted. I'm so happy it all went off and without a hitch, and uh, she looks so beautiful. The only thing she wanted was to have that dance, and she got to do it plus. I wasn't gonna just sit there and watch people have a good time, I was gonna get in and dance and enjoy it as well. It meant a lot to show everybody that I can make it through and for one day I beat the headache <laughs> and that was a very good feeling to, to not let that take over and ruin the day. Thanks a lot, David. That was a great day. You're I had welcome. a lot of fun. You're welcome. I was really proud of myself that I had made it through and I got my dream. Tell us your thrill and we will make it happen. Go to thrillofalifetime.ca. The first wedding night, uh, I'm supposed to say do not disturb. <laughs> oh, we are. Yep.